So like basically we're stretching and one of my friends, uh, Justin Bryant actually, he was like, yo E, are you good? Are you good? And I was like, I couldn't talk. I couldn't, I didn't really understand what's going on. Um, and I knew something wasn't right, but I didn't like, I didn't know what was wrong. Like it didn't seem like, I don't know. So I just kept going. I didn't talk. I just like, my mouth kept like twitching, but I was like, kept doing it, kept doing it. And my right side just like stopped working. And I didn't realize. Um, I started like going to the left and like starting like leaning and stuff like that. And I almost hit um, our old strength coach, Coach Klein. I almost hit him. He said like a joke, like, oh, like something. Cause he obviously didn't know that was something was wrong. And they saw, cause I was going backwards. And um, when they saw my face, they're like, oh, there's something wrong. So the trainers saw it immediately. Um, and they told me, they took me to the training room. Um, they asked me a bunch of questions and I couldn't, I wasn't responsive. Um, I could hear everything. I could understand, like he was asking me, what's my name? But I couldn't, like, I couldn't even think of how to answer. It doesn't make sense, I know, but like, the best thing I can think is like, I was watching a movie of my life. Like I wasn't, I was watching the movie, but I couldn't, I wasn't in it. You know what I'm saying? That's like the best thing I can say, really. Um, and after that, they took me to a hospital, like 15 minutes away, and they give me some, um, medicine to like stop the stroke i'm not really sure how it works and then after that i don't really remember much um except for after i woke up to surgery my family was there everybody was crying i was like what happened like what's good like i'm trying to practice and so um and then i was like i tried to talk and i couldn't talk like i couldn't say anything like anything at all and so that's like i still didn't understand for a couple of weeks, I, I they couldn't let me talk or they couldn't let me eat for a couple of days. I was starving, so I was like getting mad. I was like, what's wrong? Like, and I was getting so frustrated because I felt fine. I woke up fine, and nobody, I didn't know what everybody went through. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know I was in the ICU until like two months after I uh, after I got out of the hospital. Like, I didn't know I was in the ICU, and like, I didn't know that. I just wasn't. I really wasn't sure what ha was happening. You didn't know like, how much time had gone by. Nah, I mean, the time I was going for like. I was in the hospital for 10 days, ICU for seven days, and I, was, I got moved to like a, a lower ICU s stage or something. So I was in the hospital for 10 days, and then uh, a rehab hospital for six days. I knew how many time was going on, but like I didn't realize the severity of it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then like, I remember like they were trying to like, the first time I walked, they were like holding me. I'm like, I'm good. I can walk. Like stuff like that. I, I was getting kind of frustrated because I felt regular. I didn't realize that I had a stroke. I didn't even know what a stroke was. And then so, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. Like I said like when life gives you lemons, I make grape juice. I mean that's that's what that's what happens. You know, like everybody, everybody back back home and people say, oh, so you're done with football, right? You done with football? Oh, so what are you gonna do now? What are you doing that football is get done? I'm like, what do you mean? Like. I'm making grape juice. Like, what do you, like, what do you mean? I'm, what am I done? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how I, I don't know. That's just how I work. If somebody, somebody tells me I can't or won't, it just makes me, makes me hungry. I don't know. That's, that's how I am, I think.